Netting these beautiful but dangerous fish in the Atlantic is the first line of defense against a fast-growing and hungry army of invaders. A voracious predator, lionfish are an exotic species whose population explosion continues to threaten the U.S. East Coast and spread further south throughout the Caribbean. Scientists are struggling to understand this fast-moving phenomenon, but they're already sounding the alarm. They have just literally exploded through time, um, a population explosion. It's like a plague of locusts. Oregon State University professor Mark Hickson was leading a team of research students studying coral reefs in the 1990s when they first noticed invasive lionfish. They were forced to change their research matter when the lionfish moved in. Lionfish reduce the abundance of small fish on coral reefs by 80 percent in just a five-week period. The U.S. government has continued to monitor lionfish spottings and tracked a substantial jump in sightings in 2004. The Gulf Stream into North Carolina established a population over to Bermuda and then in about 2004 we started seeing them in the Bahamas. Scuba divers in the Bahamas first started noticing isolated specimens. We started off with one fish at one site that we knew of. Then we see another fish at another site and then another one. But the explosion didn't really hit until about 2007. That's when we really started noticing a difference and they were noticed everywhere in groups of four and five and six fish even in just these coral heads of just massive amounts of fish. The venomous spines are these tall top uh, dorsal spines. Andy DeHart, the National Aquarium Director of Biological Programs, says there is no agreement on how the popular aquarium tank fish ended up in the Atlantic. Some believe aquarium breaches during Hurricane Andrew in 1992 released lionfish into the Bay of Biscayne and from there they spread, slowly at first. Experts say Caribbean reefs now face a prospect of turning into a vast nursery for the remarkably adaptable predator. The region's warm waters are allowing the tropical fish to colonize a far greater area than they can up north. There is widespread concern that the demise of the small reef fish will add more stress to fragile coral reefs. If we start losing these smaller reef fish as food to lionfish and the lionfish population get out of control, we can be you know, certainly in a, in a whirlwind for bad things have coming for the reef ecosystem. Volunteer scuba divers working with local governments have established an early warning detection system to track the lionfish's expansion. But some say it may be too late. We're not very optimistic at this point that eradication is possible because the lionfish population is growing so rapidly, but also they live down to several hundred feet depth, which means they're below the depth over which most scuba divers can, can have access to them. Tracy Brown, The Associated Press.